Howdy everyone, welcome back to Flow, your 30 day yoga journey. I'm here with Benji and it's day 10. It's time to pick up the pace and align. Let's get started. All right, let's begin in a comfortable seat. Take your time getting down into place. And when you get there, go ahead and close your eyes or soften your gaze. And let's start by aligning the head over the heart and the heart over the pelvis. So you might even shift your spine a little forward and back to get a sense of what that alignment feels like, head over heart, heart over pelvis. And if you're feeling a little pain in the front of the hips or the low back, go ahead and sit up on a blanket or a block here. And we have begun. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And again, big inhale in. And a long exhale out. And one more time, listening to the sound of your breath. Beautiful, continue to breathe deep here as we bat the eyelashes open, or you can keep your eyes closed here. We're just gonna draw some small circles with the nose. Checking in with the head, the neck, the shoulders here. Sitting up nice and tall, reverse your circle. And before we get really moving here, just a reminder, this time is for you to align with how you're feeling today. Align with yourself in a way that feels true. So we might start to pick up the pace a little bit, but you just take care of you. Remember to breathe deep and know that this is time well spent, no matter what it shapes up to be or what it feels like or looks like here. Trust that it's valuable. Okay, let's come forward. Excuse me, buddy. Let's come forward onto all fours. Center yourself on the mat if you can. And then we'll drop the belly, inhale, open the chest, start to bring a little more energy here, best you can, using this again to check in and align with what is. So no need to put on any costumes here or pretend. Just feel your way through this practice as we inhale deeply and exhale completely. A couple more rounds of cat-cow here, listening to the sound of your breath. Bring it back to tabletop position. We'll curl the toes under and slowly walk the palms back, coming into our little froggy squat, stretching through the feet, the ankles, the hips, of course. Inhale in, then exhale. Take it all the way back out to all fours. We're gonna take it to plank now, plant the palms, lift the knees up, and let's start to activate that core. So align the shoulders over the wrists here, slight bend in the elbows, lengthen through the crown of the head. Reach, reach, reach the heels back and hug those low ribs in to engage your abs. Now see if you can draw your belly button up and in a little bit more. Inhale in and then exhale, send the hips up high and back, downward facing dog. Press away from your yoga mat, send the majority of your weight to the lower half of your body. And if it helps, you can bend the knees generously here. Think about lifting the hip creases up towards the sky, lengthening through the crown. Great. Bend the knees a lot. Carve a line with the nose. Look forward. Inhale in and then exhale. Make your way to the tippy top of your mat. We'll meet in forward fold. Feet hip width apart. 
Reconnect with your breathing. Seeing if you can elongate the inhalation and extend the exhale. Using the breath to create and cultivate really a beautiful conversation between the mind and the body. Encouraging your energy to flow. So any stagnant energy, we're gonna move it right along today. Here we go, bend the knees generously, tuck your chin to your chest and slowly roll up to mountain. As you stack the spine here, draw energy up from the arches of the feet, whatever that means to you, maybe lift the kneecaps, tone the quads, feel the strength in your legs here. As you rise up, lengthen through the crown of the head. Now inhale, spread the fingertips, reach up. Right hand grabs the left wrist. Think up and over as you lean the hips to the left. Crown of the head extends to the right, big stretch. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, stay here, but think about spiraling your heart center, your chest up towards the sky. Beautiful, then bring it back to center, release the grip, inhale. Exhale, think up and over as you take it to the other side. Pump the hips to the right. Crown of the head extends. Then spiral your heart up towards the ceiling. Reach, 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 and then slowly bring it back to center. Nice, inhale, spread the fingertips, look up. Exhale, wiggle the fingertips as you forward fold, bring it back down. Inhale, halfway lift, slide the palms to the tops of the thighs, tops of the shins or fingertips can stay on the mat. Exhale, soften and fold. Bend the knees, plant the palms, step one foot back then the other. Find your alignment here. Wrists underneath the shoulders, heels reaching back. Imagine there's a little string between your low ribs and the front of your hip creases and we're keeping that string nice and taut, engaging the abs. Inhale in, exhale, send the hips up high and back, downward facing dog. Bend the knees, inhale, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top, feet together this time, really together. Forward fold, breathe. On your next inhale, halfway lift, your version, nice long neck. Exhale, soften and fold. Ground through the feet here, bend your knees to protect the low back, spread the fingertips, inhale, reach for the sky, big breath, big stretch. And then exhale, forward fold, all the way back down. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through the crown, find that extension. Exhale, soften, fold, release. Bend the knees, plant the palms, step one foot back, then the other. Find that alignment here. Lengthen through the crown, reach through the heels. You got this, breathe. Engage the abs. Inhale in, exhale, hips up high and back, downward facing dog. This time, anchor the left heel, inhale, lift the right leg up high, press into both palms evenly. Exhale, shift it forward, step it all the way up, pivot on the back foot. Hands come to the waistline. Listen here, we're gonna, listen here. We're gonna tuck the chin into the chest and slowly roll up into warrior versus leading with the fingertips or the arms. And as you do this roll up, you get this opportunity to feel the power of that back leg as you stack the spine, find this lift up through the front body and this grounding through the back body. And then we can take the arms up. Breathe in, breathe out, relax the shoulders. Breathe in, exhale, open up warrior two. Maybe you widen your stance, deep in that bend in the right knee. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Keep the front knee bent as you reach the right fingertips up and back, reverse warrior. Inhale in. Exhale, extended side angle. Right elbow is gonna come to the top of the right thigh. Left fingertips sweep all the way up towards the front edge of the mat, or if you need a little more space, send it all the way up to the sky. Lots of opportunity here to practice that extension through the crown, so we're not dropping right ear to right shoulder. 
And lastly, we might open this up a little more, bringing the right fingertips to the earth, spiraling that heart up towards the sky. Inhale in, exhale, bring it back to your lunge. Beautiful. We'll step the right toes back. Inhale in here, exhale, slowly lower all the way to the belly. Inhale, rise up, cobra, shoulders down. Exhale, soften and release, forehead to the mat. Inhale, press up to plank. Quietly whisper to yourself here, I am strong. I am strong. Then send the hips up high and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, shift it forward. Pivot on the back foot. Find your footing. Then bring the hands to the waistline. Keep that front knee bent. Keep the back inner thigh strong as you tuck the chin into the chest and slowly roll up. Stacking the spine, building it all from the ground up. Changes the energy of the posture, changes the stability and the strength that you're able to tap into. When you're ready, bring the fingertips up high. Warrior one. Breathe. Inhale in. Exhale, warrior two. Build it from the ground up. Head over heart, heart over pelvis. So if you're leaning forward or leaning back, bring it back to center. And then keep that front knee bent. Maybe even bend it a little more before you head into Peaceful Warrior. Left fingertips reach up. We lengthen through the side body and then send it all the way back, keeping the crown of the head reaching. Inhale in. Exhale, extended side angle. Right fingertips reach all the way up towards the front edge of your mat. So you feel this length from the outer edge of the right foot all the way through the right fingertips. If the shoulders are really tight though here, it could be nice to take the fingertips up towards the sky instead. Everyone hug those low ribs in. Lengthen through the crown. Maybe we take the left fingertips down. Breathe, spiral your heart up towards the sky. And then slowly bring it back down to your lunge. Awesome work, step it back. Slowly lower belly to the earth or chaturanga, cobra or upward facing dog. Meeting spot is downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Bend the knees, inhale to look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top. Uttanasana, feet together, really together. On your next inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, soften and fold. Bend the knees, root to rise here. Inhale, reach for the sky. Big breath, big stretch, maybe a little back bend here. And this time we'll bring the palms together as we exhale, hands slowly float to the heart and we just take a moment here to breathe, observe. Maybe you close the eyes here or bring your gaze down softly, feeling that foot to earth connection and just noticing your energy, your breath. Noticing the thoughts that are coming across here, maybe some frustration today, some heaviness, or maybe some lightness and joy. No right or wrong, just showing up to the mat here to meet and greet, align with what is. All right, open the eyes if they're closed. Swim the fingertips behind you. You're gonna draw the knuckles down and away to really open up through the chest here. Just take a moment here. Most of us could stand a couple breaths here, so let's take them. If you wanna find some soft, easy movement in the head, the neck, lifting the chin up and down. Find what feels good. Then release the bind, bend the knees, send the fingertips forward. We're gonna send the weight way back into the heels so that you could even lift your toes. 
Now lift your belly up and out of your pelvis here as you sink back a little more. Fingertips can absolutely reach forward to help you counter this weight. Inhale in, exhale, send the fingertips back, airplane arms. Good, stay low, inhale in, reach forward. Exhale, send the fingertips back, airplane arms. Think about getting your knees back over your ankles as you reach forward for this last one. Inhale in, exhale, airplane arms. Good, stand straight, inhale, reach for the sky. And then exhale, wiggle the fingertips as you cascade all the way back down into the fold. Nice, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften and bow. Bend the knees, plant the palms, step or hop back to plank. Inhale in, exhale, hips up high and back, down dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, shift it forward. Pivot on the back foot, roll it up, chin to chest, warrior one, reaching the fingertips up high. Inhale in, exhale, warrior two, open it up. Inhale, peaceful warrior, front knee stays bent. Exhale, extended side angle, your version. Inhale in here, spiral your heart to the sky. Exhale, bring it back to your lunge. Option here to lift the right toes as you take your vinyasa. So just a little fun here, you can lower to the belly, chaturanga to up dog, little baby cobra. Meeting spot is down dog. Anchor the right heel when you're ready. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, step it all the way forward into your lunge. Pivot on the back foot, inhale, root to rise here, tuck the chin, reach the arms up, warrior one. Use that exhale to relax the shoulders down. Inhale, look up, spread the fingertips. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Inhale, reach the left arm up and back, peaceful warrior, front knee stays bent. Exhale, extended side angle, your version. Inhale here to spiral the heart up towards the sky. Exhale to dial the heart back down to the earth. Plant the palms, option to keep that left foot lifted here. Just a little fun as you find your flow. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale to release and meet in downward facing dog. Hi Benji, nope, oh, star of the show, always. In down dog, let's take a nice cleansing breath. Think lion's breath here. So inhale in through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. Maybe you stick your tongue out. One more time, just like that. Inhale in and release. Slow descend of the knees to the earth. Child's pose. Just take a moment here to pause and observe your breath. And then slowly rise up to all fours. Swing the legs to one side, any side. And we're gonna come down. Here, bud, come here, come here. Come. We're gonna come down to lay on our backs. Come here, bud. Oh, let me come lay over there. That's great. All right. So we're all here. Good job, Benji. <laughs> Let's hug just the right knee into the chest. Breathe in. And then exhale, guide the right knee towards the right shoulder. You'll feel this slight compression in the front of that right hip crease. Should feel good. Inhale in. Exhale, shift the hips to the right. Guide that right knee over to the left. Supine twist. You can open up through your right wing. Breathe into all four sides of the torso. Relax your jaw. Taking the last couple minutes of this practice to really celebrate this time with yourself. Gently melt it back to center. We'll hug the left knee up into the chest whenever you're ready. Squeeze it up and in towards center. And then start to open it up towards the left. 
breathe. And then bump the hips to the left. Guide that knee across the body and find your twist here on the other side. Use your exhale to allow the left shoulder to get really heavy. In time, it will make its way slowly down to the earth. Closer to the earth. <laughs> Lovely. Slowly bring it back to center, my friends. Let's hug the knees into the chest. Rock a little side to side. And as you're ready, happy baby, we're gonna grab the outer edges of the feet, kick the soles of the feet to the sky. And the last delicious, I think very important <laughs> action point here is to actively reach your tailbone down towards the earth. So even though we're pulling down with the knees, we're trying to actively maintain this neutral spine. And if you're like, hmm, I'm not sure if I quite get it, that's okay. It's just a little grace note to start to play with whenever you're into it. All right, release. Soles of the feet come to the earth. We dig the right heel into the ground to extend the right leg. Dig the left heel into the ground to extend the left leg. Inhale, reach the fingertips up and then place the hands down with intention, with care, with love. Inhale in, exhale to rest the weight of your body completely into the earth. And you have an opportunity in Shavasana always to practice stillness, surrender, And for me personally, when I practice this type of stillness and surrender, it is a sweet opportunity to consider, you know, aligning with something bigger than yourself. Whatever that means to you. Maybe if time allows, you spend a little more time in this posture, in this surrender today. Otherwise, I'll bring the palms together. You're free to join me, thumbs to third eye. And we close today's session with one final inhale in. And I'll emulate Benji here. Exhale with a little sigh. Hmm. See you tomorrow. Namaste.